Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amona Project. We here at the Amona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, uh, information, guidance, uh, advice, and I want to talk about a um, basic concept uh, in Judaism, uh, the distinction between pure and impure, um, uh, clean versus unclean, sacred and profane. The Torah tells us in uh, the book of Leviticus uh, to distinguish between clean and unclean. It's Leviticus chapter 11, verse 47. Um, we're to differentiate between um, what's ritually pure and impure, what's kosher, what's not kosher. Um, this is an underlying motif in all of uh, Judaism. And um, also for the, for the B'nai Noach. But we have to study and learn um, the laws and the, uh, uh, the distinction between what is pure and what is impure. Because uh, if we don't have that, then uh, um, our attempt to being observant uh, is elusive. Um, observance is a, is a problem if you don't know what it is. It has practical applications. Uh, you're fishing and you catch a fish, and you see it's a trout, it's kosher. You catch a fish, it's a catfish, not kosher. You have to know why. A cow, kosher. A horse, not kosher. You have to know why. Um, Rashi, the medieval commentator uh, Rashi, uh, comments on this uh, concept of habdala, of distinguishing, of separating between uh, the pure uh, and the impure, the kosher and the not kosher, as applies um, to, um, to everyday life. And um, this is something that, that we need to keep in our mind, we need to, uh, to guide in our behavior. Um, in, in shechita, in, in ritual slaughter, I'm not going to go into the details uh, uh, of it, but uh, an animal needs to be ritually slaughtered in a very precise way. The cut has to uh, sever certain things, and um, it can't be 95% right. A fraction of an inch is the distinction between what's kosher and what's not kosher, what's permitted and what's not permitted. Um, and so in life... Um, One mistake, one sin, causes great jeopardy. And also, uh, one good deed, one merit, uh, can cause uh, uh, can cause salvation. There is a um, a wonderful and rather lengthy uh, passage in, I believe, it is a tractate of Zara that talks about the um, the um, the death of uh, Rabbi uh, Hanina Teradion. And um, it goes on for quite some time. And usually this is a, a person who was uh, uh, executed uh, by the Romans and he was wrapped in a Torah scroll and, and burnt alive. And his students were forced to watch. And um, what usually people quote is that, um, uh, he says, what do you see? What do you see? Because, and he says, well, I see black fire on white fire, referring to the uh, Torah. What's usually omitted is the aftermath. Um, while he's being uh, tortured, while he's being burned, his executioner, who's a pagan, um, is, is, is incredibly moved. And this is a guy who puts people to death for a living, uh, an idolater. And he says, listen. I can end your life quickly. I can end the suffering. Please let me do it. And for a while, Rabbi Hanina ben Taradian uh, resisted, but finally he nodded, and the uh, executioner made a, a quick, uh, a quick death. Um, he was the executioner was so moved that once uh, Rabbi uh, Hanina uh, died, he threw himself uh, on the flames, killing himself. Uh, he was just he couldn't go on. Uh, in the aftermath of this. And it is said that uh, a voice was heard from heaven announcing the arrival of uh, Rabbi Hanina ben Tradion and his executioner with one thing, 
one the merit of one thing you can uh, uh, win uh, so much um, there's also a, a passage in uh, the Talmud in uh, uh, tractate Aruvin where Rabbi Ishmael uh, meets Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Ishmael asks him well, what's your job what do you do what's your occupation and uh, Rabbi Meir says well I'm a, I'm a sofer I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a scribe I write things Rabbi Ishmael says be meticulous in your work. Um, be meticulous in your work. Um, be, um, because the omission or addition of one letter can destroy the universe. I'll give you an example. The word emet, emes, truth. A very important thing. God is truth. Uh, our faith is truth. But if you leave out the first letter, the Aleph, if you leave that out, it then becomes met, mes, death. That one little tiny letter is the difference of night and day. Um, we're going to be doing uh, more videos along these lines. Uh, please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.